Commanders! All right, we've got the new Don Hall. And apparently that flashy little arc trigger skill there thing didn't work because uh, for whatever reason it doesn't seem to be working on the new Hall. I don't know if I just discovered something or if that's a bug or if that needs to reload. Yeah, I think it's just a bug. That was an accidental bug. Anyway, so we've got the new Arc Hall Dawn. And uh, we're going to do a quick cover on it. And we want to reiterate the uh, the whole penetration mechanism. Because that seems to be the hot topic in the line community. If you haven't joined the line community, check the description below. Uh, that is going to be the hot place to talk about all these videos and things going on. Sorry, another video just started popping up in the middle of this. Okay. All right, so the new Arc Hall has this stat penetration. We did a video the other day about the Wild Rose, uh, the new penetration weapon that is required to make this, this hull. Um, <clears throat> it is a super, super late game weapon. It, it really is for those people that have maximum research, 600% defense. Um, but for everyone else, if you're still running Tier 10, Tier 11, you're probably better off running Titans instead of Penetration uh, because Penetration only debuffs your opponent's defense. So, sorry, I just realized it wasn't in frame. Uh, it only de debuffs your opponent's defense. So, uh, it, commanders that are going to use this are really just offense commanders that rely on guarantee or on hits. So, penetration won't work with Vega, uh, but Full Metal is going to start using melee damage. He's a primary melee output damage guy, and Stella are going to be using damage. But everyone else in the meta is really not using it. You know, Rogers is still going to be focusing on defense. Reinhardt's still going to be focusing on defense. Uh, Elf is going to be focused on spell damage and defense. So, uh, in reality, it's really just for Elf and Full Metal and any one slot bust offense commanders that aren't Vega. So, um, it's it's interesting because the devs have really been focusing on this shift to a uh, defense meta but i think they kind of shifted too far and defense is so out of control which is why vega became so popular um so that's kind of where we're at now but uh, i think it's going to be something that we're going to grow into when tier 13 comes out and some more gear comes out and people actually start easily or when people start gemming the third gem sets when they become more available right now most people are only running two or maybe three gems in their gear not four gems uh, but when that starts happening, people are going to get closer and closer to that threshold. So Krylar and the other boys at Theorycraft Think Tank came up with the uh, the math that says that you got to have 600% defense, whether it be research, gear, uh, guild buffs, regular buffs, whatever. At 600% defense, then penetration, penetration starts to give value. There's more math to that, but just know right now, even for the super late game guys, it's kind of a trade-off. Is Should they have uh, Titans or should they have penetration? Eh, it seems like right now Titans are still kind of better. Um, so this haul is probably not going to be the mainstay at the beginning of this season, but maybe towards the end. Okay, that being said, uh, let's talk about the stat upgrades. Well, we're expecting it to be the replacement to the offensive stat haul, which was the APOC. Uh, the APOC is still really good. So uh, let me let me put that in perspective here. Oops. <laughs> let's see. Do that again. All right, to the top. Okay, APOC is at the top here. You know what I should do? I'll do one more. I'll put this hull at top. There we go. So now APOC and Dawn are in frame. So the APOC is running at level 20, 87 attack, 87 accuracy, 87 dodge, 58 defense, 58 HP, and then 87 resistance weakened. Now Dawn is bringing strength and weakened effect uh, like the Diablo, not Diablo, like the uh, Levi Gabriel Hall. Gabriel Hall provided strength and weakened effect 87%. Uh, which was the offensive counter to the APOC. Uh, and the stats were good. The HP was good. Gabriel Hall is a fantastic haul. Um, and the Don Hall is supposed to be like the pure offensive upgrade to that. And it gives a little bit of strength and weaken. But you'll see here, as I level it up, it only goes up 1% per level. So at level 20, it's only going to be 30%. That's not negligible, but kind of like the base resistance weaken. It's kind of negligible. So the strength and weaken on here is kind of, you can ignore it in my opinion. Um, but you know, if you're really desperately trying to get over that 400% threshold, I guess this could help. But even then, that, that's, anyway, let's jump to the attack stat. The attack stat is also really low, going up at 2% per level, which is kind of sad. We really like attack. Penetration really does better with attack stacked on top of it. And, and raw attack seems to be better for everyone than penetration right now. So... Um, on the side note, we do get crit percent and crit damage, and crit damage is kind of like attack. It's, you got a crit, of course. Crit wither does affect that. That's a super late game stat. Um, but overall, uh, this is kind of what we're looking at. At level five, uh, we get a new shiny. You'll notice every level, every five levels, your ship upgrades. At level twenty, it actually gets a little bit bigger. 
Um, but usually they get new LEDs and stuff. So a level four, not so fancy, but at level five, you see I start to glow a little bit more, uh, like a white glow around the middle here. Eh, just a cosmetic thing, but I, I always like those kind of things. They're neat. So I'll go ahead and take that now, and I'll see the next upgrade at 10. Of course, it doesn't look as good with the shield because the shield kind of blocks everything. Um, but uh, that's the new hall. Does anyone know what it looks like? Put in the comments below if you have an idea of what this looks like because from a side perspective, from the top, I don't. it doesn't look like anything to me. Everything else has kind of looked like something. This doesn't, this thing, there's like stuff, ships floating on the side over here. I don't even know, it's not even attached. But uh, that's the new hall. I wanted to show it to you guys because uh, now I have it, but I don't think I'm going to be using it. Like I said, it's, it's really for the super late game guys. And uh, for those of you wondering if it's better to use APOC or uh, if it's better to use this hall or the APOC, for now it's probably better to use the APOC um, until you get over, until your opponents have over 600% defense, which is a long way away for most everyone except for the, even the top 1%, it's kind of hit or miss. If you're going against a Reinhardt or a Rogers, they probably have that much defense, but check their gear and assume their research. Uh, but yeah, based on the T12 guys I've talked to, they said that uh, the, the results so far are disappointing. But don't worry, guys. They didn't put this stuff in the game to make it worse than the best gear, even though it was free, kind of. <laughs> um, so it will find its place in the meta. The devs will either buff this or buff defense, or they'll find a way to make it work. So be patient if you invested heavily into this gear. Don't worry. The devs aren't going to just make it a waste of your time and money. So that's the new ship. I hope you guys like it. Uh, I was glad to be able to have the chance to, to make the ship. So um, thanks to all my guildmates for all that help. And uh, that's it. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one.